And we welcome you to beautiful Bud Walton Arena in Fayetteville, where tonight the Arkansas Razorbacks wrap up the non-conference portion of their schedule by taking on the Tulsa Golden Hurricane. Tulsa will play man-to-man, -man, and uh, they'll, the guards will switch a lot on the perimeter. Thomas, a three-point side. That looks like an NBA stroke. Well, he can shoot that, and uh, but the Hogs need him inside first. But if, if they leave him open on the perimeter, uh, Thomas is definitely capable of knocking that down. Good catch by Weems. Look at the pass to Thomas. Charles gets past McDade and scores off the glass. A 7-0 shutout pitched early by the Hogs. Still can't find the shot. McLean with the turnaround jump where it comes at the 12-10 mark of the first half. Tulsa finally gets on the board, and Gary Irvin switched hands to miss the layup on the way to the hoop. It was a great attack there, but Irvin's got to knock that layup down. McLean with a big follow-up for the Hurricane. We talked about it earlier that Tulsa's time out here. Uh, Tulsa's in that aggressive man-to-man -man defense. It's like they're trying to isolate Steven down on that block. Hook shot, that rolls in, good play. Shooting it over Sam Mitchell, Stephen Hill's first two. They control that basketball. Beverly will try a three on the left side and hit it. Beautiful basketball right there. Charles Thomas tried to set a flare screen there for Beverly, and uh, Irvin saw it, made the excellent pass, and knocked it down and got to force another turnover. 13. Stephen Hill, Patrick Beverly, and Gary Irvin. Uzo in the corner, a three-point try that rolls around and in. He shot that over game. Well, the Hogs have been able thus far to take away the transition game and been able to stop uh, offensive boards from finishing. And now Tulsa, though, starting to heat up a little bit from the outside. Walls had a toe on a line, on the line. That's a 7-0 run for the Golden Hurricane. Hogs lead is five. Hill goes off the glass and he scores. Two more for Stephen Hill. Well, credit Tulsa for staying with it. Looked like they were gonna get blown out early. There's Hill, the little guy. He goes over Arkansas, Stephen Hill, and a timeout is taken by Stan Heath. Gary Irvin. 10 seconds for the Hogs to shoot. Beverly making a move. Slashing down the lane, putting up a tough shot. He scores. That is, that's that extra gear that Beverly has. I mean, it was great season. This is the final non-conference game of 2006 and 2007. Thomas working hard on walls, dropping his shoulder, putting it up and in, and he's got a chance at a three-point play. The excellent fact that he's a freshman. Well, he's definitely been a rock for this team. And... Ramsdale on a good feed scores the reverse layup. Razorbacks with ball watching there and got caught uh, giving up the layup. Hunter drains a three on the other end. Well, he can do that. Vincent can shoot the basketball and he's been struggling a little bit with his confidence lately, but he can really help the team in that motion offense if he can hit the perimeter shot. Reese muscles that up and the rebound. Irvin ran away from it. Tulsa gets it back. Hill will try a three from the top of the key and bury it. Well, that time Irvin Draws a crowd, fires up a three, in and out, no good. Well, that will take us to halftime. The Razorbacks led early 7-0, led by as many as 12 during the course of the first 20 minutes, and the Razorbacks lead it by five at halftime. The Sonic Halftime Show is next. You're watching. Hogs in that motion offense. Stephen Hill got free after setting the pick, and he hammers it home. Beautiful pass by Beverly, and Hill made a nice roll. Great court vision and the perfect pass. But that's stopping the fast break. But they've been giving up too many, uh, too many drives to the basket, which have led to those offensive boards. Irvin to the hole. He scores off the glass. He's capable of that. You know, you want Gary to play under control, but when the opening's there, he needs to seize it. Stephen Hill with the steal. The outlet to Gary. Get it back to Patrick Beverly. And here's Irvin in traffic. Rolls that one in. Well, he wanted that ball down there on the baseline, and Beverly gave it to him. He made a nice pivot. He made, gave a slide shot over the big man. And a timeout call. Sonny Weems at the three. And that's a big shot there for Weems, for the Razorbacks also. For him to hit that shot um, shows that he's getting his confidence in this game, and they really need Weems to step up and play well. 
First points of the game for Sonny. Hopefully he'll assert himself a little bit more here in the second half. Irvin nearly got the steal. Instead, back the other way, Rod Earl buries the three. Each team with two team fouls in the half. Here's Beverly in the lane. Two more for Patrick. He has nine. Back the other way, Hills hits a three. But the Razorbacks have got five to seconds back. to shoot. Gary's doing a lot of dribbling. Hunter got free in the lane, and he rolls that one in. That's about as unorthodox a shot as you're ever going to see. It was, but right Wilson. now. Hull lobs it up. Ill advised. Beverly the other way. Held up by Hill. He gets it ahead to Gary Irvin. And Mitchell fouled him, and Gary scored it anyway. Well, Gary Irvin has really asserted himself here. He also on the floor. Shot clock is at five for Hill. And Hill lost the handle on it. Thomas gets the steal. Ahead, Beverly leaves it, or gets it from McCurdy, and Beverly scores. With great court vision by McCurdy. He caught that point. Razorback lead. Hill for three, got it. The night of his life for Mark Hill. He has 15 points in the game. He averages three points per game, 16 minutes a night. He certainly played well tonight, and the, the Razorbacks need to put a, put a lid on him. Sonny Weems rockets in a three from the corner. Close point advantage. Hill got Weems way out of position, then he missed the three-point try. The rebound tapped out to Uzo. He'll try a three and hit it. Uncontested. Beverly sends it over to Weems. He'll try another three and hit it again. Sonny Weems is now three of five from behind the arc. Earls behind the three-point line, casts it up. That's no good. Weems with the rebound. And all of a sudden, the pace is picked up, back up dramatically. And Stephen Hill scores. Great patience by Irvin there. He came to a stop. They're coming along. Irvin with the steal. And he scores over Hill. Biggest lead of the night for the Razorbacks, a 14-point lead. 12 steals for the Hogs in this game. And Hill with a wild shot scores off the glass. Weems, three for three, got it. Gary Irvin with great penetration. Weems spots up, gets his feet set, knocks it down. They've looked very good in transition today. And the Hogs here going to their zone defense to try to throw off what Tulsa's doing. Hill's been very good off of these ball screens. They're going to try to mix it up. And the crowd is really into the game right now. This is as loud as we've heard the crowd since the Hogs were in Little Rock against Texas Tech. Beverly, Irvin, they play catch, and it's Gary off the glass for two more. Well, he faked the pass. He made the defender guard him. And they didn't commit. He goes up and finishes. Hog fans, are you ready for conference play? Now 11 and 3 on the year, heading into SEC play. Tulsa falls to 9 and 2. We'll take a break. You're watching the Arkansas Razorback Sports Network.